Can you tell me what Idaho is famous for? If you said shaving soap, you're wrong as potatoes, but they also make shaving soap. Yes, I got a new pack, or new pack, I got a new puck <laughs> of shaving soap from my good pal Daniel over there at Gem State Razors. This is their first offering. They've got a straight razor in the works. They've got a, uh, like a bone a uh, horn handled shaving brush coming out soon, but he wanted to send this off to me quick. It's the Bay Rum with cool menthol in it. I mean, how can you, how can you, how can you beat that? So it's from, they're from Idaho. They're based out of there and they make it. See, it says it right there, made in Idaho. This does not smell like a potato, but you tell you what, we're going to shave with it, see how it shaves. I haven't opened it up yet. I need to get it out of the packaging. I was going to do this off camera, but then I thought I can do it on camera. Yeah, I sure can. This is a three ounce puck, so it'll last you a good long time. <sighs> Let's see how much, I don't think there's gonna be like the Sinatra Lennon levels of menthol. This is gonna be like a normal person's level of menthol. Uh, normally you'd stick that in a bowl. I'm not going to, I'm gonna stick it in my hand and I'm gonna shave with it. All right, let's check it out. And I'll tell you, uh, he's got, I've got a cheat sheet here. He sent me this letter because he's got a giveaway, uh, a monthly soap subscription giveaway. He's going to give you away. He's got a 10% discount code. He's, he's just getting started. He's trying to get off the ground with all this stuff. And uh, it's an uphill battle sometimes to do that. So I want you guys to help him out. Help out Daniel at Gem State Razors. All right. So I took a shower, did my hair. Did you see my Instagram post with my beetle haircut? Yeah, I know. If I if I brushed all this forward, you'd be frightened. All right, put some hot water up there, and I'm gonna lather up with the old Jolly Rancher. Yeah, you want it when I have a new variable in my shaving routine. I like to stick with tools that I already know. So we're gonna have Grandpa Grungy make an appearance, the 1960 Gillette Fat Boy, the West Coast shaving. There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, I forgot it has the logo on the bottom. Synthetic brush. And for the aftershave, some Captain's Choice Nor'easter. Just, just in case there's not enough menthol in the menthol bay rum from Gem State Razors. All right. So, I put some water on my face. I'm so cold. <laughs> this is why you need a bowl. Just get a, use a bowl. Don't be dumb like me. I'm just making a mess. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? Making a little bit of a mess. Why not? Ah, yeah, so it's a light bay rum scent. It's not overpowering. And we'll see if there's a little hint. And uh, if there needs to be more menthol, maybe I can say, hey, Daniel, put some more menthol in there. Put a Sinatra Lennon level of menthol in there and sell that to people that have like signed a waiver. You know, this is, look at that. It's just going all, there we go. I'm gonna get as much off as I can and use that because I don't wanna waste it. All right, the rest I will wash off, sure. Can't save every single bubble, can we? All right, let's lather up here. Hmm, I like that it's a mild bay rum. Sometimes bay rum, while I love it, can be a little strong and uh, lingering. But this one is very mild. It's more like a, a soapy hint of the bay rum. I'm not feeling the menthol yet, but we'll see if that comes with, uh, with the shaving and then the air contacting my skin. We'll just see. We'll see. I can't wait. All right. <laughs> got a feather blade in here. I've already uh, got it set on five, by the way. Or no, six. I went to six. I used to do it on seven, but I was getting nicked too much. So I'm gone down to a six to see how I like that. Now, supposedly, the replica of the 1960 Fat Boy uh, was supposed to come out this month. They only got a week left to hit that goal, but they did say that there was a slowdown. I think there was a fire in the factory. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, but we'll see. I've got patience. I've already got a couple of real Fat Boys here to tide me over, but I'll be very, very curious to shave one-on-one, -on -one, head to head with a real 1960 Gillette Fat Boy. These are good razors. They're extremely popular, as you know. But there are better razors. This isn't like the cream of the crop 
end all be all. It's just a really nice, beautifully designed, like for the length and the the handle thickness and all that stuff. It just kind of, I mean, it could have been any razor, right? It could have been the, the, the slim adjustable that, you know, became the, uh, the one that everybody had to have. It's all the fashion. It's de rigueur, as they say. <laughs> oh, I had some shout outs. I forgot last time because I didn't have my phone with me. Let me pull it up here. Don't mind me. Where is it? Here we go. Shout outs. Joshua Patel. Shout out to you, buddy. Sorry if it's taken a while. Shout out to Joshua. I am starting to get a very little hint of the menthol. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just enough. And actually, you know what? The Bay Rum could be a little bit... It's very, very mild. I could use some more Bay Rum. So, Daniel, if you're taking uh, constructive criticism, put a little bit more Bay Rum in and just a little bit more menthol. Just a little. Just a little. I know my, I know my tolerance is really high, especially for menthol. But it has lathered beautifully. It's leaving a softness. It's not crazy slick. There's not a crazy slickness. But it's also not disappearing as I shave. All right. Ooh, very. This feels smoother over here for some reason. Huh. I'll shave a little bit better on that side. Who knows? Put some more hot water on my face. Where's my brush? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Get that stuff off the bottom. Put it on the top. Yeah, look at that. Lathers very easily. Beautifully. Not bad for a first try, Daniel. I know you've probably gone through a ton of different iterations. Got another shout out. Gamers Daily Fix. Shout out to you, Gamers Daily Fix. Hopefully you're getting your daily fix. So gamers? Games? Video games? Probably playing Defender or, uh, you know, uh, Robotron. That's probably what they're into, right? That's what they're watching over there on Twitch. We stream. Do they do that at all? You guys know what Twitch is? I don't know why I know. I'm almost 50 years old. But it's a, a live streaming video game channel thing you download to your smartphone or whatever device. It is, uh, yeah, you just watch people play video games. I don't know. But do anybody, does anyone on there play like retro, like Donkey Kong or anything like that? Because I might actually watch that. I'm not going to sit there and watch Call of Duty or uh, Fortnite, but I might watch, see if somebody can beat Donkey Kong in a record time. What am I doing? I keep forgetting what I'm doing. I'm not on the third pass. I'm on the second pass. My goodness. Oh, my standards today are just... I got so interested in talking about retro video games with you guys that I just forgot what I was doing. That's okay. Back on track. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. That lather is sticking around. It's good. Let me tell you the... Uh, so the discount code, if you buy something from Gem State Razors, there'll be a link below, is Sinatra. So if you go buy something from them, buy some soap. And like I said, they're going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. Uh, they're starting a monthly soap subscription. First level comes with a new shaving soap puck. That's the Tenderfoot level. Second level is shaving soap and aftershave. That's the Scout level. And the final one comes with it. I'm not even looking at myself. Let's see I can just shave and read at the same time. Just having a, you know, drinking some coffee. Uh, the third one comes with shaving soap after, oh, uh, shaving soap after shave and a cologne. So he's doing exclusive. I'll give away two month free for the Tenderfoot Monthly Soap Club. So go to gemstaterazors.com slash Sinatra giveaway. It'll be down there in the, in the uh, description below. You don't have to remember all that stuff. HTTP colon backslash. Remember when advertisers? Wow. That's a combination of this soap, this razor, this razor blade, this setting. Get a good one today, folks. Ah, okay. Third pass. Now I'm keeping track. I haven't gone back to the puck to uh, reload the brush. 
there's still plenty in here. You cannot go wrong with this synthetic brush from West Coast Shaving. Thanks again to Abraham for sending this to me all those years ago. It seems so very long ago now. I don't even remember. <laughs> and on this third pass, I am feeling a, a bit more of the menthol, just a teeny bit more. But still, I think it could do with some more. So a bit more bay rum, a bit more menthol, Daniel. Those are my uh, um, suggestions for what they're worth. All right. Third pass. So have you noticed, uh, if you're here in the uh, Gulf Coast region, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, got two hurricanes heading towards the Gulf Coast this week. Two hurricanes. Marco and Laura. 2020 just keeps on giving, doesn't it, folks? 20, I guarantee we won't get one drop of rain here in Austin. Austin has a weather force field around it where they predict it's going to rain and it never does. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. But we did have a nice rainstorm. Welcome to the Weather Channel, by the way. We did have a nice rainstorm yesterday morning. It was lovely. Took the oldest boy out and we got some kolaches. What? You don't know what kolaches are? Klobosniki? That's sausage kolache. Klobosnik. It's like a pig in a blanket, but the dough, oh my gosh, so good. This one place we go here in town. Soft, slightly buttery. And with some good quality Texas, like a half of a sausage link inside, cut down the middle. Oh my gosh, so good. I know I've talked about kolaches on this channel before. Why not? I'm not even hungry. All right. We're getting in there. This is a really nice. I think I may have hit the hit the sweet spot here with this the setting on the fat boy and uh, I think it's the third shave on this feather blade. Setting 6. And this soap is helping too. It's really nice. I'm waiting to say it. And I haven't nicked myself. I'm waiting. I'm not going to say it yet. Because there's many a slip twixt the cup and the lip. I'm going to get these last little bits here. Always get these blast bits. Always. No matter what. It never fails. Do some of the old Charles Roberts <laughs> forms. Okay. Cold water on the face. And then I'm gonna feel my face again just for just for fun. I can hear you, I can hear you yelling at the screen. Feel your face! Feel your face! Feel your face! Feel your face! Oh god. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. Yep, even in these spots where I normally oh, that's nice, even under here. Oh, that's why I shave. You know, that's why I shave. That's why I shave every day. Just about. About 90% of the time. The weekends I'll get lazy. All right. Captain's Choice Nor'easter after shave. A little bit of menthol. I'll show you. I can, just to prove I'm doing it. <laughs> it's like a combination of menthol and Dracar Noir. I'm like... Two things that were custom made for my scent preference, I guess. Ah, well, there we go. And I didn't nick myself. I didn't normally. Oh, nope. That was just, just a, just trick of the light. <laughs> just a trick. Of, normally, Grandpa Grungy gets me, but I survived to live and shave another day, and I hope you do too. Thanks again, Daniel. Uh, look for the links below to Gem State Razors. Um, yeah, let me show you the, here's what the little thing looks like again. Three ounce bay rum. Put a little bit more bay rum scent in there. Some more menthol, Daniel. And give me those brushes and give me that straight razor. Take your time. Do it right. But uh, anyway, all right, everybody. <laughs> Have a great week. Uh, and I will see you all soon. If you're down along the Gulf Coast, be careful. 
and stay safe. And everybody else, I'll see you.